In January of 2011, I walked into work for a 6.30 meeting with my brother and he and I had a little kind of nothing argument that basically ended up in a blow up and essentially us deciding, you know what, we can't do this anymore. And we split our business. I had just had my son and my daughter was two. I had just left a job I'd been with for 11 years. You know, I went home to Miriam and I told her what happened and she was like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? And I said, I, I think we should start a painting business. And she said, no, I can't do it. We just, I need to go get my job back. I made a mistake, I shouldn't have quit my job. And I said, no, you didn't make a mistake. You know, let's just do it. I lived in Las Lunas at the time, and they lived here in Albuquerque. We didn't have an office. We'd take either a laptop and a notebook, and we'd just sit at McDonald's and we'd meet. I mean, I think back to some of the goals and things that we were trying to write out back then, and trying to brainstorm on how to get things going, you know, everything from marketing to employees and, you know, our finances and everything. We were sitting around a table at McDonald's trying to figure out how to make work. We learned early on that if we came together as a team and we did what we were really strong at and supported everyone else to do the same in the team, that we could be unstoppable. And that same attitude is what we carry forward into our employees, is that we have created a team. Let's work to our strengths. Let's help everybody to overcome their weaknesses or support them through it. What it really is, is about all of us working together for a common goal to grow the company and, you know, to have a good work environment for our employees. And so the things that we really look for are attitude. I can teach somebody the technical craft of painting, but if your attitude is poor, you're not coachable, you're not somebody that's pleasant to work with, you're not somebody that's pleasant to have around your house. Painting is a feeling, it sounds so funny, but it's not just going in and slapping some paint on the walls. It's about the experience. It doesn't matter how great the paint job looks, if the experience was really lousy, we failed. So if we can create a great painting experience where guys are friendly, where they're considerate, where they really try to work with the customers and make sure that they're happy, that they understand what the process is and they feel cared for, that's really what we're about. We want to provide a safe, environment for our guys to go to work on. I would never ask one of our employees to do something that I felt like was unreasonably dangerous. We absolutely try very hard to keep our painters working all year long. We discount our work in the winter. We'll just do it at cost just to keep our guys working and that's how passionate we are about our employees. I want to make sure that these guys are taken care of and when you come in to work for us, you're going to have an entire staff of people from the office all the way down through to the guys that you're working side by side with on the job that care about making sure you go home at the end of the day and that care about giving you a skill that you can take on and have for the rest of your life. Because as much as we started this business, we are not the business, our employees are the business. They are Mike's quality.